Is that to be expected or we got a few stragglers coming in? Is this about it here, you think? We're just getting started. Okay, just getting started. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know there was a lot of demand. I heard that it was a sold out house. So <laughs> glad to see so many of you made it. Um, and I applaud all you guys for your social distancing. Um, dimensional disbursement of chairs. It's very uniform. You guys are pretty good. Uh, my name is Greg Sheldon. I'm the project coordinator for the Albany Victory Gardens. So anybody heard of a Victory Garden? Okay, cool. Uh, Victory Gardens. Um, <laughs> the, the, first, the first Victory Gardens. And uh, the interesting thing is we find ourselves again at war, but with a different kind of end. And the fight that we're engaged in is for food sovereignty. Um, you guys have all heard of Victory Gardens. Have you ever heard of a food desert? Yes. yes. So uh, uh, this is awesome. It's very good talking to an, an informed crew because we can get right down to the heart of the matter. Um, our project takes place in Albany's West Hill neighborhood, which is just uh, just sort of northeast of Clinton Avenue. Starting on Clinton Avenue, our project encompasses both Clinton Avenue and First Street going down from Quail. So if you can identify North Lake, Quail, First, Clinton, any of that, that's our block. And over the years, we've grown to procure over 20 individual vacant lots that were once homes um, in a once thriving neighborhood. And now we see a lot of destabilization there. And uh, the way that people phrase it these days is to say, there's a lack of community equity. So we're trying to be an equity partner for the West Hill. We're trying to build community literally from the ground up. So when we go in and we take a look at a new lot, the first thing that we have to do is figure out how we can use that in the best possible way uh, to help the community. But it's not just the community, because it's not in a bubble. We're all connected. And finding a way to bring the best possible use out of this lot sometimes takes on regional or global implications. And I hope to touch on a little bit of that today. Our primary focus is the production of fresh produce in the neighborhood. Uh, people who live there predominantly don't own their homes and oftentimes don't have a vehicle. So if you've ever had to walk to the grocery store a couple of miles, you know that certain things will spoil in the hot sun on the way home. And therefore, people have less of a propensity to buy things that can spoil easily. Soft, fresh produce and fruits, sometimes dairy products, and people buy towards things that are in a can. Even if they did get vegetables, these vegetables have traveled the average is 1,500 miles. Um, and they didn't come in an electric car, let me just say it like that. Uh, and by the time they get there and all the transfers and the time that it's taken since harvest, um, you know, my, this is my beautiful wife, Jody, over here. Hi, everyone. She is an amazing cook. And she loves me and she puts up with so much. But what she will not put up with is a hot plate getting cold on the table. Because she wants me to enjoy it right when it's done being prepared. And that's the way fruits and vegetables are made to be enjoyed as well, right as soon as they're harvested. But after several days, sometimes weeks, and many hundreds of miles to get to the grocery store before it gets to someone's hands, we have a decrease in the, in the nutritional value of the food. So now we see a community that's already affected by being in a food desert. When they can access fresh produce, it's hollow nutrition. So we're really trying to find a way to build the capacity in the neighborhood for neighbors themselves to produce their own food, to eat, to share, or to sell. By selling the food, they can keep the food and the money circulating in the neighborhood, and that's what makes a community strong. So uh, that's, that's the long and the short of our program, but we'll get into some more details and some Q&A as we move through it. Are we queued up? Is there a way to help your emails right there? Um, that might be 